judges yesterday were left frustrated um, yesterday that happened when that happened yesterday after social security agency sasa and cash paymaster services representatives failed to answer key questions about the social grants payment debacle non-governmental organization black sash and other organizations brought the matter to court to seek its intervention into the matter now, civil society group Freedom Under Law joined the constitutional court application by Black Sash regarding the distribution of social grants. Joining us now this morning is retired constitutional court judge Johan Krichler that says that they support the relief sought by Black Sash. A very good morning to you, Justin, and welcome. Good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. First and foremostly, the current contract between CPS and, and SASA was declared unlawful by the constitutional court. Um, what are the avenues that are open to the court right now, Judge? The avenues, as an outside observer, mm -hmm. the avenues seem to be fairly limited. Mm -hmm. The delay on the part of the minister and Sasa, mm -hmm. the culpable delay on their part has left themselves and the court with very little option. Quite mm -hmm. clearly, for now, to ensure that the many millions who are entitled to the support get their support as of the 1st of April mm -hmm. leaves little choice but to continue with CPS for some time. Mm -hmm. For how long and on what terms, that's the debate. Now, as Freedom Under Law joined the Constitutional Court application by Black Sash, what are they actually seeking? We seek close... Well, first of all, we want to establish the integrity of court orders and court discipline. Mm -hmm. The separation of powers depends upon the executive obeying and respecting the authority of the courts within their own area. Mm -hmm. In this particular instance, it was clear to us that the ministry and the agency responsible for the execution of this vital social function had been in disregard, if not contempt, of the Constitutional Court's ruling mm -hmm. years ago. And we wanted to ensure that the court's authority was recognized by the executive. In particular, we wanted to ensure that no renewal extension uh, of the contract would benefit CPS. Mm -hmm. That an unlawful contract, which has by force of circumstances had to be renewed would not be beneficial to them. Uh, how the court does that is for the court to decide, mm -hmm. but we wish to ensure that obedience to the court's order was enforced and that nobody could force you and me and the public at large to pay more mm -hmm. because people had dragged their feet mm -hmm. in a, a deliberately dilatory manner. Oversight to the court was mentioned a number of times yesterday. Why is oversight of the Constitutional Court so critical in this regard? Ordinarily, oversight by a court should not be necessary. A court mm -hmm. gives an order, it's heard the case, it gives an order, and it can accept that what it has ordered will be done. In this particular instance, it's manifest, painfully manifest, that the minister and the state agency responsible did not take the court's attitude back in... 2014 seriously and disregarded it. Mm -hmm. It does not seem as if the deal between the minister and SASA and CPS is going to be a proper order unless the court has a close look at it and is exercising a supervisory function, either personally or through an agency which it nominates. Mm -hmm. We talked about avenues a little bit earlier and you indicated it's very limited what the court can do. Now the con court did rule um, uh, you know that the, the previous contract or the current contract which ends at the end of this month is unlawful. Yes. Uh, can the court now rule against itself? No it cannot but what it did last time was mm -hmm. to say although this contract was concluded unlawfully and is unconstitutional mm -hmm. in the public interest and in the interests of justice we cannot summarily terminate this contract, mm -hmm. we must allow it to run its course to its conclusion. That is, in a sense, accepting the inevitable mm -hmm. that you've got to live with the unlawful in the meantime. Mm -hmm. I strongly suspect that whatever the court devises now 
will have to be something along the same lines. Reluctantly, unwillingly, in the knowledge that this contract should long since have been replaced, uh, we've just got to recognize that CPS is going to be the agency for some time still. Mm. Will this set a precedent, you think, uh, Judge? I think it will set a precedent in this respect. I sincerely hope it will set a precedent in this respect to show that court orders are not to be toyed with, court orders are to be obeyed. Mm -hmm. Judgment has now been reserved. What are your expectations uh, for grants to be paid on the 1st of April and uh, leaving those beneficiaries at ease this morning to say, listen, we, uh, we will get paid? Because the president did announce that it will be paid. Come hell or high water. Yes, I'm not that much impressed by the president's statements. <laughs> I'm much more impressed by what happened in court yesterday. Mm -hmm. I am absolutely convinced that the millions of people out there who depended upon these grants can sleep peacefully and comfortably. Their payments will be continued at the end of the month as in the past. Mm -hmm. There is no reason to fear that. Mm -hmm. There is every reason to think that the court will come up with some system of supervised execution of the contract as of 1st of April. Is there anybody that should be held responsible oh. for this crisis, you think, Judge? Uh, that's one of the things the court is investigating. The mm -hmm. court asked some very pertinent questions both before the hearing and during the hearing. And I don't want to transgress on the court's terrain, but purely as an outsider observer, uh, hey, somebody wasn't doing their job here. Mm -hmm. Who it was and why is for the court to determine. Judge, I thank you so much for your time and joining us here in You're studio. You're very welcome. That was retired Constitutional Court Judge uh, Johan Krechler uh, with Freedom Under Law, of course, uh, joining the Black Sash in pleading uh, for an extension of the contract, but under very strict conditions like to get your thoughts but we are conducting a poll this morning and here it is let's uh, put it up uh, on the screen so you can see it and so, so we can have a look at the numbers so far we are asking the question should the department of social development take grant payments internally 149 votes are in 77 percent of you are saying yes they should do it internally they should take those payments and pay them internally 23 percent of you are saying no well, I don't know the 23%. Uh, those are all the employees of uh, CPS, perhaps, that want the payments uh, to be done through CPS. Now, here's the question for you. What do you make of yesterday's arguments in the con court? Uh, the judge said that he was very happy with it. What, is, what are your thoughts? Let's take a look on the Twitter handle as well as on the Facebook page on the Twitter handle. This one from SIPO says, The discussion in the con court was to allow CPS to finish its contract and decide what we will what will be the next step forward well, as you heard Sipo they also said that today is the deadline if they don't have a contract today payments will not be made now this one from Lachasa says let the contract be given to CPS for only three months only I doubt if the money will be deposited by the 1st of April I call said Lachasa now the finance minister did indicate that it only takes three days for the money to be paid from Treasury into whoever's account that's going to make the payment. So it shouldn't be 12 days. Where does the 12 days come from? That's another question that you can pose. Sipo says, the argument of Concord about Sasa yesterday was to know what are the qualities brought forward by CPS to do its job. Now they can do the job because they have got uh, all the infrastructure, but is it legal? That's another question. And who will supervise it? A.H. Uh, Nazo, Icon Nazo says, at least our highest court in the land, it's not uh, conflicting, uh, conflicted like uh, other courts. They made great arguments against the minister, says uh, Icon Nazo. Now, these are some of your comments. Please keep them coming. We'll read them as we continue during the course of the program. Now, our picture of the day comes from Tumi So, who fell inside an unused shop two weeks ago.